as I mentioned earlier, the title was pushed on the German army. You might think that he wanted the German army to have something much bigger than anybody else, much more powerful, with a very heavy gun. He insisted they could. That massive 8831 of the gun that was used in an aircraft gun, put it in the tank, very thick armor plate, 10 centimeters thick at the front of the tank there, and he uh, went up with this very impressive armor plate. Very happy gun, but very expensive. Now, now those of you who had a chance to talk to any of the crew, you can do so after. They will tell you how complex this tank is. Um, to not only make, but also maintain, to keep it going. And uh, because of that, during the war, the Germans could only make 1,300 tigers. And if you put that up against probably about 60,000, T-34 tanks, 50,000 Sherman tanks, there aren't an awful lot of them around. So it was though undoubtedly a very, very powerful tank, but in the actual battlefield of World War II, very few of them appear in combat because they just can't make enough of them. Now the Tiger's got a crew of five inside there. At the moment, with the drivers down in the front as you're facing the vehicle, he's on the left-hand side, uh, sorry, the right-hand side, the uh, bow machine gunner, the radio operator, eight is on the left-hand side, commander, gunner, loader, all in the turret. All those wheels to spread out the weight of such a big heavy tank, well over 50 tonnes. Uh, and the engine in the back, the famous Maybach engine that's carrying this tank along, really designed in the first place for a tank slightly lighter, a 36 ton tank, and uh, a cause of endless troubles, not only to the crew in World War II, uh, but subsequently. But the truth is, most tank engines, or most areas of tanks cause trouble, it's not just with the Tiger. in North Africa, in Tunisia, in early 1943. It was uh, the first complete tiger captured by the British forces, by all the Allied Western forces, and uh, it was seen by Churchill in Tunis, by the King went out there and took a look at it as well. It was brought back to Britain for evaluation, and uh, it came down to the Tank Museum in 1951, and it's been the subject of an ongoing restoration project, uh, really for uh, over the last 10 years. We've just done some more work on the tank. We've fitted some something called the fan drives in the back so that we can now authentically turn the fans to keep the engine cool uh, from the engine. And uh, we've just got to say a big thank you to an awful lot of people who've helped us carry on the restoration work on this tank, the Lottery Fund, the Prison Fund, the Wheel Foundation, and uh, probably some of you private individuals here have given us fivers, tenors, all sorts of money to keep the vehicle going. So we're very pleased and thank you for helping support us in keeping this fantastic bit of history uh, mobile and working. Now what we're going to do for you now, we're going to park the tank there for a few minutes and uh, in about 10 minutes time we're going to start it up again and drive it off the arena um, and take it up and put it back inside the museum so that you can go and have a closer look at it. And do please, if you've got the opportunity, talk to the crew, talk to some of the chaps who have been helping us, uh, working on the vehicle, uh, that are the engineers that are going to be down there so they can tell you how complex a vehicle it is. Um, uh, but do please, as I mentioned earlier, do keep out the way of the vehicle when it's driving up the road, keep an eye on the dogs and the children so they don't go running out as well. And when these vehicles are parked up, do remember the exhausts are very hot behind them. Uh, we'll have stuff there warning you about it, um, but uh, do remember they're very, very hot items there. Now inside the museum, for the rest of the afternoon, there's been plenty of other activities, there's talk, show and tell. Uh, the rest of the museum there you can go and have a look at. So do please carry on and enjoy your day, and thank you very much for coming along to the Tank Museum today on our nice, not quite so sunny, Tiger Day. Thank you.
idea why it's in the gas. Ah, it will, yeah. <laughs>